been raising his hand. Yes, thank um, you. But before I recognize you, Attorney, can you kindly turn off the mic of the former president para lang hindi tayo nag-aagawan dito ng... Uh... Yes, you may proceed. Yeah, uh, thank you, Mr. Chair. Uh, at the outset, I was, I'm here among the resource persons because I was, I was invited to be one of the resource persons. Mainly, as mentioned earlier, in an, as an item in the administrative matter, to explain the circumstances of the two letters that we sent to the Quadcom on behalf of the President. So I am also not only a resource person here, but also acting as the uh, legal counsel of the former President. That said, we have reviewed the agenda item for the 11th joint public hearing. And I hope we would be able to put things in context in so far as how the proceedings have gone through until now. Uh, and I noticed that uh, in so far as what has been going on for the last nine hours, this would only be limited to item four, five, and six in relation to the alleged extrajudicial killing in the uh, Philippine uh, campaign against illegal drugs during the previous administration. That said, uh, Mr. Chair, we would like to be clarified because this is a legislative inquiry in aid of legislation. May we know what proposed legislation is being set on the table uh, for the committee to consider and for the resource person to contribute their valuable inputs, if any, so that we can avoid incidents like what we just saw earlier, so yeah. that it will be meaningful, intelligent, accurate, uh, and hopefully not accusatory in character. Yeah, so actually, that it will be positive. Yes. And like, uh, as I've said, meaningful discussion yeah. so that we'll be able to come up with uh, effective uh, legislation, uh, Your Honor. Thank you very much. Um, actually, with regards to your um, point, Attorney Degra, um, two, or if not I'm mistaken, three bills have already been filed. With regards to the Quadcom hearing, um, isa po dyan, may kinalaman sa forfeiture of illegally acquired properties, one. Number two, may kinalaman po sa EJK. At saka yung pangatlo po, may kinalaman po sa heinous crime. So, these investigations being conducted by the Quadcom has actually brought about a lot of legislation already. Other than that, um, our members are also looking into amendments of existing laws so that we can strengthen the institutions and the agencies by which um, the government operate in. Other than that, uh, mapapansin po natin just very recently, um, naglabas po ang uh, administrasyon ng ating Pangulo ng EO para sa implementation ng total ban sa Pogo. So, with that being said, uh, Attorney Degra, um, Congressman Ajong, Thank you, Mr. Chair. Just like to ask uh, Senator De Lima, are you comfortable in your seat, uh, uh, Senator? Because uh, earlier when there was a small incident commotion, I, I saw you froze for a bit. Are you comfortable in your seat? We can transfer you if you want. I'm not comfortable, but I can stay here. Okay. Yes. I'm just, I'm just concerned with our... Uh, I'm not afraid at all. Yeah, Thank I'm not. You. Yes, I'm just saying that you know, uh, for a little bit, I, I think you froze. Salamat po. Salamat. Just concerned. Thank, Thank you. you, Mr. Chair. Thank you, Senator. Um, Congressman. Mr. Chair. Chair. Ah, yes, uh, Chairman Benny. I cannot help but say this. No, I'm a little bit insulted by the statement about Tony Delgra. You know. Is he trying to question this committee on the uh, pieces of legislation that we are trying to prepare? Mr. Chair, I'd like to find out because uh, it seems to me, Mr. Chair, that uh, he does not actually believe in what, what we're trying to do. Now, Mr. Chair, Attorney Delgra, my committee, the Human Rights, have at least five bills that ought to be filed. And it is not our duty to tell you what those bills are, Mr. Chair. Thank you very much, Chairman Benny. Um, 
we do take note of your uh, observation and I hope uh, our resource persons will be a little bit more um, prudent when it comes to the comments that they will be uh, eliciting in this hearing.